What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and it seems like every day we find out something else, discover something new about Justina Ireland, one of the writers for Star Wars The High Republic. Whether it's the fact that she has a documented history of disdain for white people, which she is kind enough to put out there on Twitter for the entire world to see. Whether it's the fact that she tries to play victim and say the reason people are upset is because there's a black woman writing Star Wars, as opposed to the fact that everyone is worried about her injecting her bullshit into the these stories or the fact that she has said if you don't like her politics if you don't like her agenda then don't buy her books that is what she has stated well today we find out something else we find out that surprise surprise she hates men that men suck according to her which shouldn't be a surprise i feel like it's almost a requirement to work at lucasfilm these days to feel that way uh but we have a couple things i wanted to share one is going to be this clip that anna that star wars girl found and put together on twitter her talking about a few things another is something that itchy Baka dug up after Anna found that and you can see men suck which is exactly what she says and really I think that that is the most important thing right we're gonna talk about the things we've talked about before you know her her saying that she's upset that everyone's upset there's a black woman writing Star Wars trying to play the victim um, her going out there and saying the problem is if you don't like my politics and my beliefs and my moral compass you aren't going to like my books so let's go ahead and save everyone some time telling people if they don't like her politics then don't buy the book isn't that what you love to hear lucasfilm isn't that what you want your authors out there saying absolutely ridiculous but i wanted to play this first and uh this is what ichibaka dug up he did a video of his own please go check it out i'm going to link his channel in the description but i wanted you guys to listen to this this is when she's asked about conflict between women in books this is what she says um and i want to talk about i wanted to talk about that idea of competition between women um, because I think a lot of times we let ourselves fall into these really terrible traps about we're in competition with each other, but it's like, no, we're not. Like, don't take this the wrong way, but men suck. Like, and they're like... Don't take this the wrong way, but men suck. Don't take this the wrong way, but men are trash. Don't take this the wrong way, but men are evil. What are the ways there to take it? This, God, this reminds me of someone, doesn't it? This reminds me of someone maybe that played in a Marvel movie in the MCU, a very unlikable person. Who could that be? It's, it's escaping me at this point. Let's continue watching. Also, check that ratio. <laughs> I haven't even disliked it yet. There you go. Like making you think you're in competition with each other so they can sell you body cream or sell you, you know, pimple cream or like make sure you're so busy fighting with each other you don't notice that they're taking everything. Um, yes, the great male conspiracy. Make women fight against each other so that they buy makeup as you steal everything from them. I don't know what all these women have that all the men are taking, but that is what Justina Ireland thinks. This is actually what she believes. That is why it comes across when she writes. That is why she has such an agenda. That is why she is so full of anger and rage towards people, specifically white people and men. Um, and so I wanted to talk about that, like this idea of like a female friendship. Um, so, and then she goes and describes why she put female friendship as opposed to them being in competition in some of her books because she wanted to make sure that the females are united against the men. Shout out to Ichibaka for finding that. I really do appreciate it. Ichibaka is also the person who, you know, found a couple other things about Justina Ireland. She doesn't just hate men, she also just hates white people. And we have talked about this on streams, we've talked about it in videos. This is just in 2020, the different tweets that she had bashing white people. Bashing white men at some points too, but it's all about white people. And that, for these people, it is all about race. I guess mediocre white men still going to be on here bragging about their mediocrity as though it's a hilarious anecdote instead of pure assholery. So thanks for establishing that baseline early 2021. Uh, that was the first tweet of 2021 for her. Everything else, this is just 2020. You go back years. She has a timeline full of bashing on people because of the color of their skin. But I guess when it's white people, I guess when it's men, it's okay. And in fact, that's what Lucasfilm wants. Now, this is a different part. When you talk about what guides her, you can hear how bitter she is towards men because evidently they're just pitting the females against each other. Uh, here's what she says, what, what really drives her writing. I was just wondering, where do you get your inspiration from when you're writing? Um, I'm really angry. Um, so angry. <laughs> and the world just keeps giving me more inspiration. Um, yeah, I, for a lot of things, um... 
Every time someone buys makeup, it gives her more inspiration to be angry at men. Um, my inspiration is what makes me move, and what makes me move is rage. Um, other people, it's love. Other people, it's just telling a story. So, um, so like, I don't like read long books um, unless they like really pull me in. Um, and I tend to read when I read historical fiction. I tend to read it for perspectives that you don't get in the classroom, or you don't get like every time, like for the July comes around. I'm like, I don't need another story about George Washington, right? Like, I know what the dude did. Like, I, yeah, we get it, George. Um, but She reads historical fiction for a different perspective. So when she reads historical fiction, she reads it because she thinks that people are actually telling what really happened. Because as she's gonna explain, you know, history is really just what dudes want you to think happened. I think, like, I really want to know, like, those perspectives that we haven't heard traditionally through history. Um, I was in college the first time I realized that, like, history wasn't all just, like, white dudes. I was like, oh, crap, there are other people there, too. Thanks, Howard Zinn. Look, historians do it all the time, man. Like, your, all your history books are, like, the story that some dude decided was the truth, right? So, like, okay, so, like, um... My, my undergrad is in history, and like I almost finished a I almost finished a master's in history, and then I went and did an MFA in history because um, yeah. um, because I that's what I do with my life. I never finish things. Yeah, of course. All right, Justine Ireland goes on and continues to speak about that, but it's ironic that she says that about history because, as we talked about, uh, we watched this video. God, anything involving Justine Ireland when it's just her talking is just ratioed to hell, and everything bashing on her is liked. That's pretty funny, actually. That's pretty funny. But we watched this video the other day where we heard her talk about how she wants to really retell history. She wants to give people a different iteration of history when she tells stories. And that's what she wants to do with Star Wars. It's very clear that she has an agenda. She is not afraid of uh, making sure everyone is aware of her agenda and the fact that she is going to continue putting it in her books. And that is what drives people away from Star Wars. When you have someone out there who's so blatantly on Twitter, let, I, I, Again, I will put this up here. She said if you don't like her politics, if you don't like her identity politics and her agenda, don't buy her books. Don't buy Star Wars if you don't like the, the radical agenda that I am pushing. That is not what we should have in Star Wars. It, it's simply not. It's not what she had anywhere. Um, no form of entertainment should you have something like that that is just immediately pushing half of your consumer base away. But that is what we have with Lucasfilm. That is what we have with the High Republic. Three out of the five authors of the High Republic have said very similar things to Justina Ireland. Now, I gave a few examples of an author treating fans in an excellent way with Kevin Scott the other day. Unfortunately, he's only one person on this five-person team. Three of them are absolute nut jobs, and I'm going to continue to call it out when I see it. Uh, what do you guys think about all this? Are you surprised that Justina Ireland comes out and says, uh, you know, men suck? No offense, but, uh, you know, men suck. Yeah, we, I'm sure you mean no offense, Justina. You just believe that the entire world has been men, specifically white men, keeping women, especially women of color, down. Let me know your thoughts. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.